Hello viewers, welcome to another video. In this video we will be talking about GPU mining in 2021 and 2022. We will look at how you should decide which GPUs to buy going forward using a specific case study from one of my subscribers. So far GPU mining profitability in 2021 was great and is currently still very good. Just for reference it is currently 16 July 2021. Just so the cyborgs who are watching this video in start date 2057 also has some context. Remember to tick the like button below this video so it gets suggested to more viewers. I have grouped some of the more popular questions all together seeing as they all have the same answer and explanation to clarify them. So stay tuned right to the end so you will have all the info you need to make up your own mind. You might also have one of one or all of these following seven questions. Number one, is there a mining future after Ethereum 2.0? Number two, what will happen to mining after Ethereum 2.0? Number three, will we be mining after Ethereum 2.0? Number four, what to mine after Ethereum? Number five, will mining be profitable after Ethereum 2.0? Number six, what will happen to GPU miners after Ethereum 2.0? And lastly, number seven, will mining end after Ethereum 2.0? Whether you are a current or prospective GPU miner, these are all questions you should take into account. And everyone wants to know if mining will still be profitable after Ethereum 2.0. All this depends on what you are planning to mine and which GPUs you should use or buy to mine with after Ethereum 2.0. If you currently have stock of GPUs which you are using to mine with, you should also check their future profitability on the other algorithms apart from Ethereum. And if you are planning to start fresh, then you should make sure you do the homework before deciding to buy and what to buy. Here is the case study from one of my subscribers. This specific subscriber informed me that he has a couple of options available to buy. The first one is a 1660 Super. The second one would be the 3060, the third one would be the 3060 Ti, and the fourth one would be the 3070. Now specifically for this subscriber and everyone else there out there that has these type of questions, I would recommend that you go onto a specific website called what to mine which you have on the right hand side of your screen over here. Now how this website works is over here you will see there is a whole bunch of GPUs that they have listed over here and there you would just put in there one or two or however many of these specific GPUs you are interested in or already have and then if you check this box either make it green the Nvidia ones are green the AMD ones turn red so if it's ticked green then this box is being used in the calculations below if it is grayed out, then it's not being used anywhere. So for the first one, the subscriber said that he would get a 1660 Super for 430 euros. And he can also get a 3060 standard one for 630 euros, a 3060 Ti for 730 euros, and a 3070 for 870 euros. So what I did is I went onto this specific website just to see what algorithms would be profitable as soon as Ethereum goes to 2.0. So then for this specific one, we would scroll down and see right below those ones, right below Ethereum, the most profitable currently would be Ravencoin. And Ravencoin would currently deliver 89 cents of the electricity if the electricity is 0.15. So over here you would put in your cost, your local cost. For me it is 0.15. For you it might be 0.07 or 0.11. Whatever your local cost for electricity is. Obviously if you're running on solar then you don't have any electricity cost which is best for you. I currently still have to pay electricity so at the 0.15 if Ethereum is at 2.0 Currently, the most profitable would be Ravencoin at 0.89 US cents per day. So once you clicked here on the 3060, you just have to go to calculate again so that it refreshes everything. And then we would scroll down and currently the most profitable 
seeing as the 3060 is LHR and what to mine has enough data on that currently so that Ethereum is not currently the most profitable anyway because of the limitation on the 3060. So here at the top it is Ravencoin also for the 3060 and that delivers $1.93 American cents per day currently after electricity has been deducted. To go to the next card, he said the 3060 Ti you can get for 730 euros. Here we click calculate again and then we go down to the bottom and currently after the Ethereum ones it would be Ergo and Ergo is currently delivering $2.76 per day after electricity. Now these amounts would fluctuate the whole time so best to do it as soon as possible after each other. Don't compare one card today to another card tomorrow or one algorithm today to another algorithm tomorrow because by tomorrow everything might have changed again on these ones. So best to do your benchmark all at the same time. See which one you would either want to expand your farm with or which one you want to start your farm with. So for this one, like I said, Ergo is delivering $2.76 American cents per day. Ravencoin is also over here at $2.31 American cents. Now the last one in the case study would be the 3070, which the subscriber said you can get for 870 euros. So over here, the most profitable after Ethereum would also be Ergo and it delivers almost exactly the same amount. So therefore you would also know that your 3060 Ti and your 3070 perform roughly the same. So what you would also want to take into account, Ergo is under the Auto Lycos algorithm and that would give you 155 mega hashes per second at 130 watts. Now if we were looking at Ravencoin, Ravencoin would be under the Kapow algorithm and that one for this specific card would deliver 27.6 mega hashes per second at 180 watts. So there you can see Ravencoin takes more wattage than what Ergo would take. You also need to take that into account with the amount of wattage that you are going to pull with your mine. Now if you want to go and see how long it would take you to get a return on your investment, so let's take this one for instance, we're going to click on Ergo and over here we would see that we can put in here a hardware cost. This is the 3070 that we're currently looking at and the 3070 was 870 euros which is currently at, the, at this time 1028 US dollars. And then we would click calculate and over here it says you would have your break even at 373 days. So just to give you an idea of how long it would take you to recoup that money. Now with the 3070 and the 3060 Ti delivering almost exactly the same performance on Ergo, it would be a good idea to at the moment not really take your 3070 because your 3060 is 730 euros for this specific subscriber. Let's just click calculate so all the data populates again. So let's go over to Ergo again so we can put in the hardware cost here which is 730 euros which is currently 863 US dollars and then we would calculate there you see over here it is 313 days for break even so currently at the time of making this specific video the 3060 Ti would be the most lucrative specific card to have after Ethereum 2.0 if Ergo stays the most popular so the best way you can do this is to try and sort of predict the future is you have to look at what is currently available to you. So currently, if you have a choice between these four graphics cards, I would say the biggest return on investment or the quickest return on investment would be your 3060 Ti. Now the plus side for Ergo and for Ravencoin and all these other algorithms is it does not matter if it is a LHR card or not. 
obviously if you can get a card which is not LHR at the moment you would still until Ethereum goes to 2.0 you would still mainly mine Ethereum for as long as possible and then as soon as it goes to 2.0 so it switches to proof of stake you would switch over to Ergo or whichever is the most profitable at that point in time and you would mine further on that card so in short just for the case study results, yes, it is still profitable currently to mine, even if you don't want to mine Ethereum currently, and it should still be profitable to keep on mining after Ethereum 2.0, taking all of this into account. Because if you look at, for instance, 313 days as a return on your investment, yes, it would still be profitable and more lucrative than putting your money into the bank because no bank account is going to give you 100% interest rate on 313 days and after that it is just straight profit note I would not recommend buying any of these GPUs on credit where you would have to pay interest you should only be spending money that you can afford to lose so this is exactly the same as I would recommend to anyone that wants to go and buy on the stock market you should only invest in shares with money that you can afford to lose however i prefer gpu mining which is also why i rec i would recommend gpu mining as a form of passive income on the left hand side of the screen you can see my current mine that is running in the background where my 3060 ti which is not a lhr one is currently running at 60 mega ashes per second and is running at 52 degrees celsius or 113 watts i also have two 1660 ti's which are delivering above 30 mega ashes per second and roughly 43 degrees celsius at 68 and 69 watts then my 1660 supers that i have the first two that i bought are doing 31.54 and 31.53 mega ashes per second at 41 and 42 degrees celsius for 65 watts and 56 watts and this one that's running at 56 55 watts is currently the most economical car that i have in the farm in the latest one that i bought this msi nvidia gtx 1660 super is running just under 30 mega ashes per second currently around about 12 to 13 us dollars per day out of these six cards which I'm fairly happy with. Once we go over to Ravencoin or Ergo, it will drop slightly, but it will still be profitable. It would still be more profitable than putting your money in the bank or putting your money under the mattress. I'm quite happy with this current sideline passive income hobby that I'm running. And I'm still looking for other cards, but I'm not pressed for any new cards. As soon as the prices of the GPUs drop a bit further, then I might look at expanding the current farm. So just to get back to all the questions, is there a mining future of the Ethereum 2.0? Yes, I would say there is, based on the current facts that I explained. What will happen to mining after Ethereum 2.0? Well, we will probably go to the most profitable algorithm next in line. Whether it is Ergo or Ravencoin, We'll just have to wait and see, but there will definitely be one that would be the more profitable that we, most of most miners would move to. Will we be mining after Ethereum 2.0? Yes, we definitely will. What to mine after Ethereum? Well, it would depend on which one is the most profitable and obviously it depends on which cards that you have. Because as I showed you, two of the four cards, cards it's more profitable to do Ravencoin. The other two of the four cards is more profitable to do Ergo. So you should not go blindly into just choosing anything and continuing with that. You should make sure that you run it on the most profitable algorithm. Will mining be profitable after Ethereum 2.0? Yes, not mining on Ethereum, but mining other algorithms will be profitable. What will happen to GPU miners after Ethereum 2.0? Well, we will switch to another algorithm and just mine that one. Will mining end after Ethereum 2.0? Well, unfortunately for all the gamers watching this video, no, mining will not end after Ethereum 2.0. It will just switch to the next best algorithm. And as long as, long as it may remains more profitable in putting your money into a bank, I'm sure that the GPU shortage will probably not be any better than what it currently is at the moment. 
so I hope that answers most of your questions. Like the video down below so it gets shared with more viewers. And remember to subscribe for future updates. Thank you very much for your time. Cheers.